Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We are back in the upper right hand corner of the map with the B team. This is probably going to be a really poor idea, but uh, Route 225, a route with a bunch of challenges ahead. It's finally been cleared. Those those goobers are now out of our way. We listen to this like Sonic 3D, like. Sonic Adventure music. Let's get some wicked Pokemon for the battle tower. I don't know what it was not a very good Boston accent. That actually sounded like I was like speaking as somebody who doesn't have teeth. Yikes. Anyway. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. Soak in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably gonna be the last Pokemon episode that you'll see for a hot minute. I don't want to call this one the end yet, because there's still an opportunity for me to do a little more with the game. But as of right now, it's going to be on a, oh, it's a horrible matchup. I would say it's relatively safe to say it's kind of like a hiatus at this point. So, and there are level 50 Pokemon in here. We are about to get poo pooed on. Okay. Hopefully the B team can handle it. I mean, I'm not too concerned because the A team was taking down Cynthia and her Pokemon were five to 10 levels higher than most of my team. So I'm not too upset about it. We'll see what we can do. Also, I don't know if this is like a choose your own adventure here about which double battle you want to have. But this looks like a bird trainer. Ooh, I should have switched Pokemon. I did not. Very smart. Can take down Andre, no worries. Yeah, seeing some Kanto Pokemon. We saw Firo. Farfetch looks weird. Looks a little uh, kind of pale. I don't know if that's just me. This is not a good matchup. Uh, seems like a pretty good place for Craig. But yeah, so this is going to be the last Pokemon episode for a little while. I'm not entirely sure what will entice me to come back to Pokemon. I actually have a plan in my head about what I'd like to do. We'll see if that actually winds up happening. It involves making a lot of progress in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If I'm able to do that, or if I want to do that, that will entice me to come back. But in this episode, we're going to be exploring the upper left part of, no, upper right part of the map. There's actually quite a few legendaries you can catch in these games. I want to say... all oh, that swallow animation is really weird. Um, I want to say that there's like 17 or 18 from all different generations of the Pokemon. And if I ever feel really compelled to do what it takes to get them, you can. But the process is kind of a bit of a butt. I sort of alluded to it last time, but basically... You have to go into the underground and collect all these mysterious shards that you trade for... Turn the other way. Turn the other way. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna do a double battle. Do it. Okay, there we go. You take these shards and you trade them for plates, I think. And those plates are situated in different areas in this Ramanas Park. And... That will help you to decide what legendary Pokemon you're going to get. I don't know exactly how it works. The process is kind of weird, but it is what it is. If you really want legendary Pokemon, you're going to do whatever it takes to get them, I suppose. I'm not so enamored by, you know, Pokemon like that. It's not really a huge deal for me, but I guess it would make sense if you want to complete the game and complete all 400 plus Pokemon. I'm kind of ambivalent towards that. Or as I used to say, ambivalent, because I was a dumb child. But yeah, not too worried about it. I'm just having fun, keeping it cash. We're just gonna focus on the upper right part of the map today. There's actually quite a lot to do on this part of the map. So, uh, all of my moves kind of suck. Not really a good choice here. We'll use Surf instead. That's ooh, that'll hit him too. Never mind. Let's see what Ice Beam can do. I don't have an Electric type. I'm a B team, but I got Ice Beam coming up. A B hole. Ooh, and we froze it. 
I think it's actually the first time that I've frozen a Pokemon so far. It only took 41 episodes. Oof. Yeah, that's that's fun. And I actually like the way this is going to hurt. Oh no, because we're part steel, that's right. I really like that they, you know, obviously... Skarmory is frozen, so, you know, there's that, but the sprite is frozen as well. That's a nice little touch. I appreciate you putting in the effort there, Game Freak. Wait, what? What does Heal Pulse do? Did I just heal that Pokemon for no reason? I don't even, I've never used that move before, so I don't know. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? That makes me feel like a big old ding dong. What does that do? Oh, you're supposed to use that for your team. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. You're supposed to use that for your, <laughs> for your team member. I didn't. I used it. Uh, I'm. Oof. Not my not my brightest moment. Not my brightest moment. We'll say that. That was rough. I did not know that you could heal an enemy. They shouldn't let you do that to prevent dummies from doing stuff like me. Oh well, be whole ice beam will make me feel better. Man, that's probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. But hey, on the on the plus side, you all got to see it. So that's fun, right? I can live with it. All right, I really want to take out this Skarmory. It's kind of giving me the the willies. We'll actually get back to Crunch and Slowpoke. That'd be a good idea. It's a pretty beefy Slowpoke. I don't remember it having such good uh, defense, but I guess it probably does. Ooh. I still have all the healing items from the Elite Four, so I should be doing okay. But yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of work actually to do on this part of the map. And the final prize of where we're going is actually not going to be partaken of by this team. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the A team that's actually going to handle the heavy lifting, but for now we will we will live with the team that we have now. I actually want to swap everybody out. Get some fresh blood in there. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So yeah, I wanted to get the bees team some love. Also Buster sleeping standing up. That's pretty great. You ever been so tired that you feel like you could fall asleep standing up? I know people have told that to me like, oh man, when I was doing this one job, I was so tired that I could fall asleep standing up. I could never do that. I have trouble falling asleep in perfect conditions. So I'm absolutely not doing that. But, at the very least, I thought it would be fun to bring in the B team a little bit and get them a little bit of a, an opportunity to, to shine. I know they haven't really, haven't really done that. So, I wanted to make sure that everybody gets their moment in the spotlight. Slowpoke is really getting on my nerves. Well, I guess that didn't really freeze the Skarmory sprite because the sprite just kind of doesn't really do anything. Kind of waffles back and forth, I guess, very slowly. Ooh, this is uh, gonna hurt. Ooh, I might actually kill it. And deprive me of experience for some of my Pokemons. Yep, it did. What else is new? It's probably gonna be a lot of experience too. Yep. Man, Skarmory, that was not cool. Oh, we're not done yet. I think we still got one more Pokemon to fight. Oh, it's a slow bro. Still not a good matchup for me. Yeah, actually, Lucario not having any dark moves is kind of a bad, bad situation. But yeah. So we're gonna try to do as much of the as much of the upper right area, all these battles, and then Stark Mountain is one of those places you can go. Oh, that was a critical? Yikes. Good job, Sharon. You did your best. This is probably gonna hurt. Man. Slowbro is a hard hitter. 
but I'm feeling pretty good about thinking that that might do that might do the best. Let's get Grayson back in there. You should probably take Slowbro out, right? Maybe? No? Just kidding? Why would why would that work? And now Sharon faints. Okay, so we're we're doing we're doing good. This is some high level decision making, and every everything is fine, guys. Just believe in D Mike, like he believes in you, and believes in speaking in third person. Every opportunity, you should definitely do it, especially when you're in um, large large groups of of your friends and family who may or may not judge you harshly at every step, definitely do it then. Yeah, that's that's an unfortunate amount of experience to miss out on for Sharon. But I mean, the team didn't really do that poorly. All right, I don't know if Aqua Tail's better than Surf. Our attack stat's slightly better than our special attack. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it's not better from the accuracy perspective, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna try to make this episode fun for ya. Oh, see her bangs all flopping around. She looks like she has a bowl cut. We'll try to enjoy this as much as we can while we have the moments and this like, very cheesy like anime music in the background. I don't even know what to do with it. I should have brought should have bought more Malk to do that. But I do have full resource, which I'm gonna waste right now. Because it's the last episode and you might as well. Well, the last episode for now. Not permanently, don't worry. I'll be back. Of just Pokemon. I'm obviously still gonna be making content, but it's gonna be on a new series. Starting next week. Now, Orin Berries apparently still only heal 10. Which is whatever. But why is why do citrus berries heal on a, on a range then? I don't I don't understand that. I can't this music I can't even I can't even. It's just so goofy. How do I even get down there? Okay. I don't really like this weird little like maze of grass here. I'm not a fan of it. How do I get up there? feels like 80s montage music that you'd see in like a or like a, a PSA video public service announcement do I have any repels I have two super repels definitely should have bought more of those oops okay so I don't know maybe this is the way to go no yeah, this whole area just feels very clunky not a huge fan of it Gonna take me eons to actually do what I want to do up to this point in the game. There we go. This is not what I intended to spend. Oh, that's the same area that I just was. <laughs> okay. Looks like you have to take this little bridge. You want to get over there? Oh no! Oh, I forgot. My Pokemon aren't higher level than these ones. Ooh, here's Bennett. The ep episode? No, the evolution. Why say episode? Bayonet is the evolution of Shuppet. Kind of a creepy ghost type that they introduced in the... Oh, this is definitely an item. Oh my gosh. Quit. All the Pokemon here are slightly higher level than me, so I guess a Repel is basically useless. I'm not liking my odds of being able to successfully continue to run. I've got a feeling I'm, it's going to catch up to me really soon. Is this a thing? Hello, excuse me. Yes. Actually, he's really nice. I didn't buy any more Malk, so... Sure, let's waste the last Super Repel. Is this an item? No, okay. Yeah. These... Fero encounters. They're striking fear. Oh, <laughs> into my heart. Just kidding. I like Lucario's red heels. It makes me think to, like... When I tried to run a 5k once, and I thought that was a good idea. You can... surmise that I struggled the entire way. You are good at guessing. 
Udwayne. The Pokemon Ranger. I'm assuming this is probably meant to be like based off of the Pokemon Ranger games, which was... I never played those ones. I think there's just one. There's more than one. But I remember you needing to like take your stylus and like swirl it around a Pokemon really fast. And I guess I was never really a big fan of games that use a ton of stuff like... Oh boy. Giga Impact. Jeez. Chill out, Don fan. Oof. Well, so much for Buster. It was fun while I knew you. I don't know if I have anything that's actually really good against... I don't. This team, not the best typings. Not a ton of coverage here, unfortunately. We can at least... lower its attack stat. But, uh... Dawn fan, it makes me think of the first Pokemon movie. And... In the first Pokemon movie, Ash fights a trainer, a pirate, on whatever island he's in at the very beginning when they have like that cool cover of the of the Pokemon theme as he's trying to fight it. Who has a Don fan? I think that was the first time publicly that Don fan had been seen since it was a Gen 2 Pokemon and that was a Gen 1 movie. Oh boy. We are just getting absolutely nuked right now. Super uncool. I think Sharon is really the the best choice here. Nothing is really the best choice, though, to be 100% clear. Uh, yeah, all my Pokemon, to a certain extent, are like able to be completely crushed by a Dawn fan. Very glaring ground weakness. Also very glaring ice weakness. We're just having a good time, you know? As you do. But yeah, Dawn fan. I think I've talked about this already, but Dawn fan. I think Togepi. Togepi was in the original show. Like Misty had a Togepi, so Dawn fan was cool. I think uh, Meryl was introduced in like the little pre-show kind of. Oh boy, yeah, this Dawn fan's strong. The pre-show for. The, the first movie, they had like the little cartoon every every time before the show. Oof. Little trailer. I guess it wasn't really much of a trailer. It was just kind of like a fun little intro thing. That was always cool, though. I enjoyed that. Finally, it only took all my team. Jeez! Jeez, And not all my team is going to reap the benefits. That kind of sucks. No worries. Man, Dwayne, you're one Dawn fan. Thanks so much. You're welcome, Dwayne. Thanks for martyring my team. Martyring is what I said. Thanks for martyring my team. Okay. Yeah, I should have definitely gone and grabbed a bunch of Malk. I did not. Hopefully there's a... Oop, that's a wall. Ooh, a revive. Very nice, thanks. We like that. I'm just getting nervous now having to fight all these trainers. Hopefully there's a house I can heal at sometime soon. We're like the halfway point in the episode and I haven't really done anything. Ooh, a lick -a tongue What kind of a name is Rodolfo? Probably people watching this name Rodolfo like, Hey, what are you talking smack? Yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> Aww. Raymond is uh, feeling a little nostalgic. There we go. Finally, a type advantage. I haven't really had a whole a lot of opportunities to use a Lucario on my team, which is a bit of a bummer. Lucario is a good Pokemon. Ooh, Mill Tank. The dreaded ace of Whitney's team with its... Oh, man, those... Those udders are very unfortunate. I feel like it would have been cool if they could have found a way to have, like, a pre-evolution for Mill Tank, where the, uh... The male evolution would be Tauros, and the female evolution would be Miltank. That'd be nice. Okay, so moving right along, let's check out what this house is. Don't actually know. Can you heal me? Ooh, he gave me a, a, a bottle of fresh water. Thanks, actually. Can I have another one? Okay. Well, we will take what we can get. What's back here? 
There's a lot of items, a lot of trainers. A decent place if you want to still continue your, your quest. A jar of lax incense? A lax bro incense? What is this? What is lax incense? I need to know. Oh. Kind of acts like a, uh, like a double team almost. All right. Hopefully no wild encounters. Very nice. This kind of feels like a secondary victory road on most, except for these trainers don't really have super high level things that we're fighting right now. I mean, they're not bad things, but you know. You know what I think? I, I will hold. I will hold true to this statement forever. Is they did pincer dirty, you know? We've got Scyther. Scyther is great. Scyther and Pincer are kind of parallels. You've got Heracross. Is that a one-hit kill? It sure is. I feel like that move only hits like 10 or 10 or 15% of the time, and I definitely just triggered it. How cool is that, you know? Don't you love that? But anyway, they did Pincer dirty. Of all the bug Pokemon, you know, it's one of the cooler ones, and they didn't really give it any support. Didn't get an evolution. Scyther has two evolutions now. Pinsir has zero evolutions. Now, in fairness, Pinsir does have a mega evolution, which is cool, but, or not a mega evolution, a uh, mega form. But that's still not really the same thing in my opinion. Should have given it something cool. I mean, I think Pinsir actually did have an evolution in the beta of gold and silver, but it did not did not stick around. I keep forgetting that bug types aren't weak to they're not weak to um, to ice, or maybe it is, and it's because it's a normal type that it, it can avoid. I don't know. I don't know. But it did not do what I wanted it to. Oh boy, that's a little scary. I got rid of I got rid of Surfer Aqua Tail, and I already missed my first attempt at using it. Very cool. Amazing. I have a decent amount of experience too. Raymond wants to learn Meteor Mash. What's Meteor Mash? Ooh, I like that. That's way better than Metal Claw. Heck yes. Let's do it. Mash my meteors whenever you want, Raymond. Feeling good. Ooh, a Mighty Yenna. Mighty Yenna is a dark type from. The Ruby and Sapphire days, Puchiana is the pre-evolution, and Team Aqua, Team Magma, both huge fans of using Puchiana and Mightyena on their team. It's kind of their evil team's soup du jour, but it's just kind of your bog standard dark type. Nothing special about it. It's a cool looking Pokemon, but yeah, it's... Academically, it's not great. Ho ho! Shaking in your boots there, Quinn. Shaking in your in your satchel. All right. Now we have to heal after all these battles. The A team wouldn't be having any trouble with this, but the B team is not the best. And they didn't bring any milks with me. So who wants this hyper potion? Let's give that to Buster. Okay, moving on. Continuing. Like I'm probably missing stuff, but that's okay. This is not a super comprehensive. I can't talk. Oh boy, super comp super comprehensive playthrough. I cannot talk at all. Also, Bennett's mouth being a, a zipper. It's kind of a nice touch. Do not frisk my plate. That's rude. I feel like my streak of avoiding fights from these encounters is going to end soon. Yeah, I don't really like the way this area is set up. It's a whole lot of forced encounters. Oh, man. But I'm going to keep doing my best. Ooh, there's a good one. A Flaffy. Flaffy gold and silver. The evolution of... Uh... Mareep, I think? I think that's what it's called. Mareep. Mareep is the... First stage, Flaffy's the second one, and then Ampharos, the third one. 
I actually did a playthrough of Heart Gold, and I think one of the Pokemon that's kind of tough to find in there is a Mary, but doesn't have like a super high encounter rate. But I remember I went and I did like, I did a solo run through with the Mary, and I taught it. Oh boy, it's gonna hurt. I taught, oh, maybe not. I taught my Mareep all these really good moves, and I named it Mercutio, like the Shakespeare name. And I soloed the Elite Four with just a Mareep. It felt awesome and epic. Ooh, Tropius, that's a cool one. You don't see Tropius very often. Tropius is from Ruby and Sapphire. Mm, good chance for me to wax nostalgic a little bit. It is a grass and flying type, I think. Very strange look with its weird banana chin. But uh, it was kind of the, the Bieberol from Ruby and Sapphire. It could learn a ton of HMs. So it could kind of cover all your bases for you, which was really, really nice. Liked that a lot. Wish Ice Beam would do more. I guess it's... Special defense must be pretty good. I mean, its design's kind of cool. A weird flying brontosaurus. The bananas on the chin, though? I don't know how I feel about that. That part's kind of weird to me. I'm not entirely sure how that works or what that's supposed to, to be. It just kind of has a strange... Looks like a goatee, almost. I don't know if goatees ever look good. I'm sure they... I'm sure someone... I don't know. Is that a harmful opinion? I'm not anti-goatee, to be clear. Okay, so there's some berries. I don't know what those are, but I don't care. Ooh, rock climb is gonna get me to a battle. Ah, couldn't help myself. Oh, Raticate. I'm just gonna be thinking of all the memories of these other gen Pokemon, because I haven't seen them in a while. Raticate makes me think of, uh, Ash, when he's on the SSN, trades his Butterfree for Eradicate, and then he trades it back. He was very sad about that, though. I feel like that's a decent trade, though. Ooh, a Dragon Trainer. With his cloak. Joffrey, like the giraffe. Does anybody remember uh, Toys R Us? There was a Toys R Us near me as a kid, and I remember how excited I would get when it would be like near my birthday, and my mom and dad would take me to Toys R Us. And this is back when the system was different, and most people were still buying physical copies of things, and you wouldn't actually have the games themselves, like there weren't physical copies that you would grab, but instead, they had this paper slip system. And you would take the slip and you would hand it to the person behind the counter and they would get the game for you. Pretty cool. But you had to wait a little bit. There was no like instant gratification of like getting it. And I don't remember what the last game was that I bought there, but it was like back in the Game Boy Advance era, so it's been a long time. That's where I bought a. Uh, that's where I bought my first Game Boy Advance. I remember, I. I saw Game Boy Advance like the SPs when those had come out. Those are probably one of the best handhelds of all time. The DS Lite is obviously the best handheld of all time, but it's the goat. However, the Game Boy Advance SP was revolutionary, and I remember how cool it was. It was a Dawnstone. You can evolve. Uh, I think you can evolve like a male Curlia into a Galade, Galade, however you say that. All right, what's this way? Survival area? Yeah, it's basically all we're doing is just surviving. Ooh, thank goodness for a... Poke Center. Okay, the Magma Stone. I don't know if we're going to be able to do all this today, we might actually have to <gasps> have a bit of a, a 
break in the action. Oh man, good for you. I've made documentaries before, that's pretty fun. Alright. Yes. I know that there's plenty of moves that do that actually. Facade, yeah. There's actually a thought process where you could have Facade be uh, on a Pokemon where you self-inflict. You know, like you have a Burn Orb or, or Flame Orb or something. Like Milotic did. I learned why Milotic finally had a Flame Orb. Milotic has a has an ability that if it's hurt by a status effect, it will up its defense. So it trades offense because the burn does tr truncate its offense a little bit. Trades offense and hurting itself every turn for a little bit of defense. I don't know if that's a good trade or not, but. All right, here to buy. I don't have a ton of money, but this is just bog standard stuff. I actually would like to buy some repels. Like 10 repels. Probably need more than that. I mean, repels are kind of useless, though. If I'm going into the... Yeah, I do not have a lot of money. Spend it all. On balls. Yes. That, that's fine. I mean, do I have anything I could sell? I don't even know anymore. I've lost track of my life. Okay. I sell the Adamant Orb? No. You only got one of those. Eh, whatever, it's fine. I'll be fine. I'm not expecting much. I think we can probably do like the first half of this area. We're back to this music again. I think like this should be like an informative video about like not doing drugs or something. This is the kind of music they'd use like, Hey, yeah, don't do drugs. Kiss your parents. Brush your teeth. Go to bed at a reasonable time. Stuff like that. Okay. I feel like this house is probably something important later. There's no way that they would just put that there. I was like, I gotcha! Ha! <laughs> you came all the way up here for nothing, you big dummy. I don't think that's what it is. I'm gonna rage quit my Pokemon game. Because it didn't reward me with something for doing the things that I'm already supposed to be doing. Yeah, we might just get to Stark Mountain. And then we'll leave that as a bit of a cliffhanger. That's what I was looking for. We'll leave it as a cliffhanger for the future. Is that a bad idea? Does, does, every, does everybody? Does everybody hate that? Does everybody hate that? I think you'll be very pleased with the what you're going to be getting in uh, instead. So I don't want to hear any complaints. And that's Skarmory Sprite. I thought it was cool because it was frozen. And it makes sense it's frozen. I guess it's supposed to be like kind of gliding. But that looks real stupid. Oh boy, walked right into that. I'm just kind of curious. I, we're probably not going to be able to get an attack. Oh, why did I pick Zen Headbutt? No! That's not going to be very effective. I really don't have anything good against the Skarmory. It's feeling so full of itself that it can brave bird me. Yeah, this is this is rough. I definitely don't have anything good against it. You're gonna want to use like electric moves. Buster is probably my best bet. Just being effective is kind of all I can do right now. It's a lot higher of a level too, so I'm basically gonna we're in a bit of a war of attrition here. And I'm going to have to try and hope it misses, maybe, or atomize? What does that say? I've never seen that move. Oh, does that mean that it's going to be harder to hit? No! Is that, like, minimize? It's going to be real annoying. Well, apparently that did nothing, so haha, -ha, joke's on you. Yeah, one more. Just gonna keep spamming Aqua Tail, I suppose. There's nothing else I can do at this moment. Oh, I don't miss. Very nice. Okay. 
It's not too bad. Man, Skarmory is a, is a tough out. You don't have electric moves, I tell you what. Or fire? I guess fire would be good. I don't have that either. I do want the A team, but the B team is full of a bunch of Pokemon that are just kind of useless. Not independently, but like collectively, they're kind of useless. Typing wise. Not really a whole lot of diversity and goodness. Alright, do I want to go up or down? Let's go down. I'm down to clown, you know what I'm saying? There's an item down there, I want it. There's a lot of rock climbing in here. Speaking of rock climbing, it's actually a really fun hobby. If you haven't tried it, I'd recommend it. Definitely requires a willingness to traverse heights and use any upper arm strength you didn't know you had. I remember my first time rock climbing with a buddy of mine and he was like, hey, I want you to try this really easy course. And I was like, yeah, okay. And it wasn't. He he sent me up like the tallest thing he could find. I mean, it, it wasn't challenging in the sense of like being able to find the foot and hand holds. That wasn't too bad, but whew, it was like 40 feet in the air. Did not love that. Actually, let's see, we got a bird, a bird person, a birdist. And I should probably heal both of these guys. Yeah, we're probably not gonna get to Stark Mountain and do any of the things in it. That would take way too long, but that's okay. We'll at least fight some trainers on our way out. And you guys are gonna enjoy it or else. We'll at least get to see the one of the final areas of the game. Okay, so of course you don't actually have a flying type. That's great. Oh, you have a goal bat. Never mind. Oof. I don't have a good matchup for this. I mean, Craig would be fine against goal bat, but I don't really have a good anything against Cedra. Cedra is just a water type. Yeah, man. I really, I really done goofed. Although I think keeping Buster in there would have made more sense. Craig is gonna get destroyed by that Seedra here in a moment. I know it. I don't know it. Venom Shock's a cool move. I think that it actually doubles in power if I don't remember if it's if you have a status effect or if the enemy does. But also kudos to uh, Mr. And Mrs. here with their weird like. Angular haircuts. They're matching. And the, like the, the orange and purple is kind of a nice juxtaposition. I like that. Goes well, kind of complimentary. Ooh, a Zatu. Another Pokemon that's just kind of like existing. So Zatu is a Pokemon that was introduced in gold and silver. It is the evolution of Natu, which is just like a smaller version of itself. I remember that being a pretty cool flying psychic type, kind of a, I believe it's like a reference to the, some one of the designs of like the Nazca Plains, I think it's a, uh, in Peru, which is pretty cool, like these gigantic figures that are just kind of drawn out in the, uh, kind of like the desert area there, like absolutely massive art, which I think is amazing, and it's like ancient, that was actually a pretty prominent set piece in the game Illusion of Gaia. I don't know if any of you have played that. It's a Super Nintendo game. I actually played it briefly on my old channel, but I think I actually deleted that run through because of just how unhappy with that I was. So unfortunately that will never see the light of day. I don't even think it's hidden. I think I just straight up deleted it. That's not really a game that I think makes for a good let's play, unfortunately. It's not your bog standard turn-based RPG. RPGs I feel like don't make one. They'll make good for Let's Plays as I'm playing one. But Pokemon's a little different. Yeah, in general, that one's kind of more of like an action RPG, but I don't know. It's just, it's very samey. It's very hard to like really get a good feeling for the game when it's all, it, it all kinds of does, it does the same stuff. You learn the same moves. It's very linear, I think that's Probably its biggest issue is that it's very linear and 
doesn't really offer a whole lot. Ooh, how is this gonna feel? Can we survive a hydro pump? Yes, because Scarlet is thick. Very nice. Ooh, be really funny if that actually took us out though. All right, I don't think this air lace is gonna kill Seizure. Just kidding. Of course, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. And Craig fainting is fine. Craig was already a higher level than the rest of the gang, so I don't feel as bad. Ooh, a Gyarados. Ooh, this makes me nervous. It's gonna intimidate us. I feel really intimidated right now, for some reason. Yeah, I don't really have a good, a good anything for anything. I definitely don't. I guess I can hope to use Toxic on Gyarados. Toxic's actually a really good choice. I don't really have a good rock or electric combo that would do well, so instead we'll just kind of take the coward's way out and use poison. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that's a cool looking move. Oh no, we we sturdied it out, so thankfully we're, we're doing fine. Yeah. Gyarados is really tough though, it has a ton of HP, very tanky. Nothing I do is really going to do much damage to it. So I guess we'll just try to knock as much of its health down as while we can. Imagine how much less fun this game would be, though, if just your bog standard trainer... I said bog standard like eight times this episode. Imagine if like any regular trainer had like full restores and hold items and stuff. This game would be so unfun. I would hate that. All right, I think we're gonna survive Gyarados. We should be able to take it out here. Perfect, that should be a lot of experience. I'm feeling good. I didn't even say HP experience this time. I didn't mess it up. But the wispy hair couple. Oh, her hair kind of like flops down when she loses. Huh. Don't feel bad about that. Oh, it's time. Grayson's finally evolving. Cynthia's not going to be the only one with a Garchomp and Sinnoh. How did it evolve until 55? I thought that for some reason. I don't know. 50 it is. Also, Garchomp, way less cool looking than Gabite for some reason. It looks real dumb in my opinion. But here we go. Garchomp's data. The mock Pokemon. It's huge. When it folds up its body and extends its wings, it looks like a jet plane. It flies. It flies? Sonic speeds. It didn't know it fly. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's learn Crunch. Crunch is the successor to Bite. Easy choice. I'm going to want to have a weird hammerhead dragon shark thing biting me. Okay, how do we get up here? How do we get down? How do we bring it around town? Okay, that's an item. Energy Ball, that's a really good move, really good grass move. I believe it's a special move. I'm just gonna have to call it quits here in a moment just because we are just running out the clock here. I don't know. I'm gonna take this middle one. Is that the one we just took to get up here? I don't think so. This looks good. Oh, come on. Another Firo. Who would have guessed? Yeah, I'm not trying to have these final episodes last too long, but. We're getting away safely, that's all that matters. Final episode, ooh, there's a trainer in the water. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it here. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any closer to where I need to be. This episode's already pretty long. So thanks for watching everybody. We're gonna take a brief hiatus from Pokemon until I can crank out some more of the stuff in Arceus to fully round out this game. But thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for more Pokemon in the future. We're gonna start a new Let's play next time. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you later. Bye.